Hello everyone, my name is Melissa Wright and I'm Behavioral Health Supervisor for Boys Fort. And I'm Emily Bardo, Boys Fort Behavioral Health Professional. One in five people will experience a diagnosable mental illness. We have been doing some activities to kind of help bring awareness around mental health in hopes to lower the stigma around seeking help. Yeah, because we think too, even though it's one in five, that really pretty much everyone at some point in their life um, could use help you know, with their mental health. One of the things that you know we want to stress is that you are not crazy if you know you come in to get services. I think sometimes everyone needs just a little extra support, especially now during COVID-19. Yeah. Um, we're seeing a lot of folks with anxiety. Some people are having a lot of depression um, and other things of that nature. Okay. And so, you know, we had kind of wanted to talk about too, you know, at first when COVID started, um, I think people were having a lot of like anxiety with it. A lot of fears, a lot of unknown of what was going to happen. Yeah, for sure. You know, but now what we're seeing more of is, you know, as this has been going on and people have been really isolated and stopped doing a lot of the things that they really enjoyed um, just to protect themselves, we've seen more depression. So we thought maybe it'd be good to give just a few tips on how to help manage depression. So I think we have about five just little ideas here. Um, so number one, and this is something I really do talk to my clients about quite a bit, is I think it's really important to try to plan at least one fun thing a day or one thing to um, look forward to. So it can be simple things um, like maybe trying a new recipe, starting a book, making a craft, or even um, planning like a game or something with your family. Another idea is to try to get outside when you can. I know Minnesota weather can be kind of unpredictable at times, but now we've had some nice days. So like Melissa had mentioned before, um, you know, like a walk Getting is a good a idea. Walk. Yep. Get some of that vitamin D um, into your system. Yeah, absolutely. Um, also, exercise, just in general, if you're up for it, is really good. Um, exercise releases endorphins, so that's that feel-good chemical. So, another good idea. Also, trying to stay connected with others, um, which can be, you know, particularly difficult right now with COVID. But, you know, just even things like a phone call, um, using Zoom. A simple text message, just asking you know someone that you know how, how they're doing um, could make the world of difference to someone who's really down right now absolutely and then also the other thing um, just to kind of think about is to practice being kind to yourself I think a lot of times we're really our own worst enemies so it can be helpful to think you know is that something I would say to my friend is that something I would say to a family member and if it's not to maybe kind of Think about you know some of the things that you're saying to yourself because that can be really harmful so like I said just trying to practice being kind to yourself I think another thing to remember right now is that we're seeing a lot of things being canceled and so allowing yourself to actually grieve some of those losses you know a lot of the kids are not being able to um, have their graduation you know graduation parties are either canceled or they're you know you're trying to figure out what to do with that a lot of community events are being canceled and so allowing yourself to go through that process of grieving because it is a loss and you know knowing that it's it's okay to feel that way yeah for sure so one of the things we wanted to um, talk about today as well is some of the services that are available. Um, we have discontinued in-person sessions right now just for the safety of staff and for the sake of you, our clients, um, just to keep everyone safe. And so right now we're doing telehealth. And so what that is, is just on the screen. So you can either um, do it on Zoom where you're you know, on your phone or maybe a device, laptop that you have. Um, and then you would then be in a session with the provider, or we also have the phone call sessions available currently right now. Um, that's something new that's been um, come out due to COVID and stuff like that. We also have the pandemic support circle that's happening every Wednesday. That's on Zoom with our new provider, Chris. And um, that's just, again, another way to kind of, anybody who's maybe struggling, um, it, you can kind of come and go as you please. You don't have to go every week if you don't feel that you need to. But it's just a way for you to connect with maybe some, you know, community members, some peers, um, 
with a, you know, a, a licensed therapist um, in session, leading the group, just to kind of give yourself some extra time to um, process some of the, you know, emotions and, and feelings that have come through COVID-19. And so to access that, you can call in or you can um, go on to Zoom and just enter the meeting ID number, which is 978-6192-9095. The password to get in for that is 343014. The call-in number, if you don't feel comfortable with technology or you don't want to be on camera, you can by all means call in and that number is 1-929-205. 6099. Otherwise, you know, you can come, um, if you just want maybe a session or two with one of the providers, you can reach Erin Danielson and she can get you scheduled in with one of our providers. The number is back here, but that is 218-757-3295. And that's, I think, it. We hope okay. you stay safe out there and, and know it's okay to feel the way you do. Um, and if you do need that extra support, by all means, give us a call and come in and see us. Yes, please, please reach out.